The government has called for a national conversation about the NHS, urging you, members of the public, to submit ideas and experiences to help shape its 10-year health plan. Well, this consultation period is going to run until next year, with decisions and details for this new NHS plan expected in the spring. But there have already been accusations that the process is just wasting precious time. Ministers are quick to claim the NHS is broken, so with the health service facing a winter crisis in the next 10 weeks, why wait so long to come up with this 10-year plan? Our community's correspondent, Becky Johnson, has been speaking to people in Wolverhampton about how they would save the NHS. Do you have any allergies, please? Uh, no, no. This isn't a GP surgery, it's a pharmacy, but the pressure on the NHS is being felt here. Many of the people coming in for COVID jabs struggled to book in with their doctor. The number of people I've seen here who come and complain that, oh, I wanted an appointment with the GP, but I didn't get an appointment, so I was sent here. It's just ridiculous. Patients collecting prescriptions here in Wolverhampton all had views on what the NHS needs to get better. More staff, probably more money. I think there will, will there will be a two-tier system where pe you know, people who are able to pay will pay. More stricter management, not for doctors, but for the whole everything else that involves. A lot of need more staff. Then it's the wages that come with it. People are not happy with the wages, with the lack of with the work they have to do. Wolverhampton is one of the places where improving healthcare is critical. Almost a third of working-age adults aren't working. Robert's been signed off sick for two years. He has epilepsy and it's affecting his mental health. You can understand why it's frustration because they just haven't got the staff. Would you pay for appointments if that yeah, would get you in quicker? If it got me in quicker then and I had, and I had the money there and I was, doing, and I was working, yeah, 100%. Across the city, we found stories of frustration. I've just had a hernia operation. I've waited eight years. If you could tell the government to do one thing to make it better, what, what would it be? More money invested in it. Sylvia waited nine hours in A&E last week when she cut her leg. I phoned my doctors up this morning. They couldn't get me in to have the dressing change for a fortnight. But at this urgent walk-in centre, she got it done within an hour. I think it needs to be go for all. The government says feedback from patients and staff will help shape the NHS of the future. Busy mum Sanjana says being able to book appointments online would make her life easier. On the calls, it's too much waiting time. It's so much queues. All agree reform is key to get the NHS back on its feet for the next generation. Becky Johnson, Sky News, Wolverhampton.